Welcome back to the SharePointer.com YouTube channel. Now, in this video, what I want to talk about is how to capitalize on quick moving stock market reversals. What we saw over the past three days has been a very fast reversal that caught a lot of people wrong footed, including myself. But the key is, is not necessarily if you were caught wrong footed, but what you're going to do about it and how you are going to respond to it. You remain stubborn in your ways and say, no, it's going to come back down again. I'm going to stay short. Or do you flip the script, go long, and you make money off of the long side? So again, over the last three days, you had the FOMC statement that came out. That was a big event that caused the market to go down at the end of the day and actually make it look like we were going to have a bear flag confirmation. But then the next three days, it was something completely different. You had the Apple earnings that came out with a record $110 billion buyback, plus you had an employment number that... As bad as it seemed, it was a bad news, good news event, and it caused the market to keep rallying. So let's go ahead and dig right into this chart here and really think about what we're dealing with here. So on SPY, you have a very clean chart, and we're going to zoom in into the past few days. Going back to late March, you put in the all-time highs, and then from there, you started to stair step your way lower in the market. Then you had this nice little run of six days to the downside. Really good opportunity for shorting. I was able to do it. It was good. Now, what you want to pay attention to, though, here is this year-to-date anchored VWAP. That's volume-weighted volume, volume weighted average pricing. So let's go ahead and stick that on there. That goes all the way back to right here in the beginning of January. You can see here on the dates on the left-hand side, you have January 2nd, first day of the trading year. This is going to be the average price paid year-to-date. So we we broke down below. It looked like maybe we're going to crush right below, but then the next day... it. it closed right on it, bounced it a little bit, pulled back, bounced it a little bit again. Now, in the meantime, this was a playable bounce. And what was also forming during this time was a bear flag pattern. So this bear flag, and bear flags are continuation patterns to the downside. It'll usually go back up a little bit before ultimately resuming to the downside. So this day right here, this is where the FOMC statement came out. It shot up big time, like 75 plus points. And then it crashed into the close about 80 points. This was a very bearish sign. Yes, it closed right above the anchored VWAP, but this bear flag pattern was confirmed. So going into the next day, I was waiting to see, okay, are we going to break down below? We did. We broke down below the anchored VWAP. I got short. And then the rest of the day, the market just shot higher. That stunk. Okay. From a, from a trading standpoint, I didn't close out the position just yet at that point, but then it gapped higher the next day. I went ahead and closed out my positions. So here you could say, well, we're still right here in the bear flag pattern. Is that really what you would expect from a bear flag for it to go that high? No, bear flags, they don't go that steep and the, they have to break down in the short term if they're going to be that steep. In this case, it wasn't breaking down. So you take it something like a Fibonacci retracement level. You're way beyond the 61.8% retracement level at this point. In fact, you're only like, you're less than 2% off of all time highs. So what you have to do is you have to play to the upside. Now, what changed to, to notice that, okay, this is different. We're not in the bear flag pattern anymore. What's different this time? Well, for one, we can go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff. We are, we're forming a higher high. So that was what eventually took me out of my long positions. We're forming a higher high. We broke above the highs from the previous week. That was the highs of this bear flag pattern. So now we're done and over with. This is this is not a bear flag anymore. And not only that, but you also put in a higher low. So in this case, the show's over. Now you also go back and you can look at it from different time frames, not necessarily from a daily or weekly or intraday, but I'm talking about short term and long term. So in the long term frame, you have going all the way back to the end of October, you have a much bigger rising trend line. So along with this AV web, we can go ahead and delete this bear flag, keep the AV wap and the rising trend line. So the AV wap offering up support, we bounced off of it from the from the FOMC statement and then from the employment number when it tested it again, and then we've been marching higher ever since. Also, this rising trend line is looking like a higher low. So this is going to be a new trend line going forward for or at least for the time being. Where do I think it can go from here? I think it can go to all time highs. I think, it, and I, I wouldn't even be surprised if it did it within the next few days. Do I necessarily like it? I don't really care. And that's one of the things that we have to do as traders is not care. We can't care. And by the way, I know I'm blocking this, but let's, I'll, I'll show you guys here. That's, that's the uh, lows that I'm drawing that trend line off of. I just realized that my big head's probably blocking it, but nonetheless, 
We want to be where we don't care whether the market goes higher or lower. We just want to be on the right side of it. And so if it goes higher, if it goes to all-time highs, if it goes another 1,000, 2,000 points higher, who cares? If it goes 2,000 points lower, who cares? That's the kind of attitude you got to have as a swing trader. You can't be beholden to a direction or to a belief. You just got to follow what the charts are trying to tell you. If it's lower, short the market. If it's higher, go long on the market. If, if it's unpredictable or if it's uncertain, go cash. Now, of course, that's that's simplifying it quite a bit. But what we want to also make sure, too, is, is that, that the amount of capital that we're deploying is reflective of the confidence that we have of the market going forward. So if you're extremely confident and the market continues to put in higher highs and higher lows, you might be closer to 70 or 80% long in your port swing trading portfolio. If it's just starting off, the like the bounce that we're seeing right here, you may only be like 10 or 20% long. So you have to keep that in, in mind when you're trading in this market that that you're not over positioning yourself to where you're going to result in major failure. So wrapping this up, you want to be open to the different levels that the market has for you. We were talking about this rising trend line. That was a level. The anchored VWAP, that was a level. Also not mentioned is this VWAP off of the all-time highs here. So this got broken on Friday. That was your other sign because right here we were in a pinch between the year-to-date VWAP and the VWAP off of the all-time highs. Once one of these broke, whether to the downside or to the upside, was going to be the next direction that the market was taking. It broke it to the upside. As a result, we have to trade accordingly. Levels are very important. Right here is another good example of one for you where we were unable to break through this level right here for days. You had a, a, almost a break right here where it started to get established, but it failed and it broke and closed much lower. And then we came back and tested it back on Monday of last week. We tested it. We failed. We tested the following day, failed, tested the next day and failed. And finally, we broke through it on Friday. So again, knowing your levels, knowing the trend lines, knowing short-term levels and long-term levels, and also using the Anchor VWAP can go a long ways in your trading success. If you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to like and subscribe and tell me in the comments down below, what is your strategy going forward with this market? How are you responding to this three-day bounce that we've currently seen? And love to hear from you. Thank you guys. And God bless.